Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 59 in chapter 5. In this one, we need to find the range of speed the car can safely make the curve, right? And then we need to consider the static friction. So the first sentence tells you the curve of radius. Uh, the radius is banked for uh, design speed. So what is the bank design? That means the car can make perfectly circle without consider the friction. Do you agree? Yes, and the equation for this angle theta is tangent theta equals to v squared divided by g times r. This one we learned in the textbook. Uh, it's very important. In this one we can find its angle theta because v is given and r is given. So when we need to find this range, so first the situation, we consider the friction pointing down. So the car has a tendency to move up. So the friction is down and then along this slope and then we project the friction in x component and y component. So therefore we can write the equations as this one. First one, the y component, the force is balanced. Agree? So Fn cosine theta minus the gravity minus the F friction sine theta equals zero. Then we look at the central force. For central force, we have F and sine theta and the friction times the cosine theta equals the mass times the central acceleration. This central acceleration depends on V1 squared divided by R, right? V1 is the range, so one, mini, one limit of the range. And then this friction is mu s times the normal force. And then the second situation is the car has a tendency to move down, so the friction is up. In this one, we can uh, project the friction into component F friction sine theta and friction cosine theta. Therefore, we can see we write the equation in y component as the normal force cosine theta minus gravity and the, this one, the friction uh, times the sine theta equals zero because the force on y component is balanced. Then we look at the x component, the central force is F sine theta minus the friction times the cosine theta equals the mass times the central acceleration. This central acceleration it depends on V2 squared divided by R, a great V2 squared. And then this friction is still the mu s times the normal force. The normal force is this one. And then when we can solve these uh, equations, and we find the first situation, V1 is 32 meter per second, V2 is 17 meter per second. So this is the range for the velocity that can safely make this turn. And then this is the more details, right? You, how you just convert these equations and get the final answer 35, uh, 32 meter per second and 17 meter per second. Thank you.